I'm Brittany Harriet with SCDOT, and right now I'm just off US 76 in Westminster in Oconee County. We're at the site of a recently completed paving project. Today we're going to be speaking with Alan Adams, who is the resident construction engineer for Oconee County, who's going to give us more details about the recently completed work. So this is our section of uh, US 76. It's uh, the total stretch for this particular road was about 6.76 miles. It starts in Sen after Seneca, it goes all the way through the downtown Westminster area. Uh, this was a, a mill and replace job, and it's, that means we basically full depth patch for about eight inches. Uh, we, find, we shoulder widen, we widen this road about four feet on either side, and we mill out the top two inches, replace it with uh, two inches of fresh asphalt. When was this road completed? This road was completed about a month ago. What are the new safety features for this road? So for this particular road, like I mentioned, we did the four foot widening on either side and we also installed these rumble strips, which are becoming a lot more common in South Carolina. Uh, I think it gives you the audible warning, it also gives you the vibration, you can feel those if you need to correct or something like that. So uh, it's definitely much safer than it was before. Why did this road need to be repaved? Well, this road needs to be, be repaved. This is kind of the main road uh, that goes all the way uh, through Westminster. It goes all the way into Pickens County. So it's a long road. It's a very busy road. Uh, so repaving it not, uh, not only gives you a nice new blacktop, a smooth blacktop to ride on, but it makes it much safer as well. Thank you, Alan, for all of that information. We're now going to take a look at some other recently completed paving projects here in Oconee County, which are all also a part of SCDOT's strategic 10-year plan. Two miles of SC11, or Cherokee Foothills Scenic Highway, this road was paved going through the town of West Union. 1.62 miles of Pine Grove Road near Fair Play, and 1.11 miles of Wells Highway, which is the road I'm just standing alongside of right now. Remember, always drive carefully and safely. Let them work, let them live.